Hey, this is Scott, and today we're taking a look at the Think Tank Video Workhorse 25. The Video Workhorse series has three sizes, and this is the largest of the three. They're shoulder bags, although they don't look like it, and they're made especially to carry your video rigs, either partially or completely built, depending on uh, how big your video rig is. While I have absolutely no complaints about the quality of this bag, both in the materials used and the durability and uh, strength of it, because that is a big selling point is how strong this is, uh, I do have a few more complaints than I usually do about Think Tank bags, so let's see why. We'll start off with the positive points. This bag is strong, it's really, really strong. It's reinforced on the bottom, on the sides, on the top, and it's said to be able to hold up to like 45 pounds on the top here. And it's um, multi-layered inside there. There's a lot of reinforcement and it's also slightly curved on the top to help that uh, strength. And of course, this is meant to protect your video rig because very often video rigs can be very, very expensive. And protection, of course, is one of the most important features of a bag that's gonna be carrying your very expensive gear. The shoulder strap attaches with these freely turning clips, which is a very small detail, but it's always nice to have just so that way your strap doesn't get all twisted up when you're trying to pick up the bag. There is also a path through on the back of here where you could put it on top of a rolling bag, especially one of Think Tank's rolling video bags, which are a little bit deeper, so it'll balance better with this on top of it. On the bottom of this bag, you'll find a couple of rails that run the entire length of the bag to help support it and get it up off the ground. And again, the bottom of this bag is very well reinforced. So even with a very heavy bag, these rails won't awkwardly push into the inside of your bag. On the front of this bag, you'll find a very large pocket, which has two smaller pockets inside of it for organization. And this can be very useful for smaller accessories like cables, a field recorder, and things like that. Finally, as with many Think Tank bags, you do have a flat zippered pocket on the top of the bag for documents or other small things like that. And this time it's a little bit expandable, so you have a little bit more space. And there's also a clear pocket where you could put a business card or some other sort of identification card in there. It goes without saying that all of the materials used, including the zippers and everything, are very, very high quality, feel very tough and very long lasting. So Think Tank put a lot of thought into making this bag as strong as possible to really protect your video gear, which of course is very, very important. But I feel like that's kind of where their innovation died with this bag in particular. The inside of it is a little bit less uh, creative or versatile than a lot of their bags usually are. And because of that, I was a bit disappointed. When you open it up, you'll see these two large clear pockets on the inside of the cover here. And it's pretty much what's to be expected from most Think Tank bags and they work as they're supposed to work. Look inside the main compartment of this bag, you'll see this kind of fabric covered ring that runs around the entire inside top of the bag and it's very, very rigid. Again, this is meant to support the shape of the bag and prevent your gear from being crushed in here. It can actually be removed, it's just attached with Velcro, but uh, seeing as this was how they designed it to be really rigid and protect your gear, you probably don't want to remove it. I did find, however, that it sometimes gets in the way depending on the height of your gear and how closely you want it to fit from edge to edge. And I just kind of wish that they had incorporated this into the actual wall of the bag instead of a separate piece inside of it. The next thing you'll probably notice is the very large divider which runs from end to end across the back of the bag. This is a very thick, very stiff divider and it's meant to divide the bag into the kind of main compartment where you put your camera and stuff and another little section where you can put cables and smaller accessories and things like that. Because the corners of this bag are rounded and this divider is so rigid, you actually can't push it back much further than what it is when you first get the bag. And if you need just a little bit extra space in the main compartment for like a mat box or something like that, it's really difficult to do so. I actually did run into this problem where my mat box was just a little bit too wide for the main compartment here and I wanted a little more space so I thought well I'll just remove that big divider and I'll put my cables and stuff in the front pocket but when I did that I found that the other dividers that are included do not reach from one side of the bag all the way to the other so unless you're curving them around the corners of the bag or something like that you basically can't use them if you remove that main divider. With a lot of other Think Tank bags they do provide multiple sizes of the dividers for any kind of setup that you might want. You have ones that will fit in between the wall and the divider or you have ones that will fit between wall and wall or just in any kind of configuration you can possibly set up. And with this one, I was kind of surprised to find that they only included those three dividers and no additional sizes. Speaking of these dividers, they are covered on one side with a Velcro friendly fabric, but only on one side, which I thought was kind of strange. In my opinion, if you're gonna cover one side with it, just cover both sides. And that way you have, again, the maximum amount of compatibility with different setups. This bag, as a lot of the video bags from Think Tank do, does include a couple of uh, padded foam blocks to help hold your camera in place. But because those dividers are only Velcro friendly on one side, if you want to put a foam block on the wall of one of those dividers and then subdivide the other side with another divider, you're out of luck. Since there are only three dividers included, if you want to kind of borrow dividers from another bag to help with organization here, 
again, that fabric being only on one side really limits how much you can subdivide and sub-organize these different areas of the bag. Back onto the topic of those padded blocks, it is very nice if you want to help support your camera either on the bottom if you have it on some kind of rails or if you want on the sides or on the front and the back just to hold it in place a little more securely. But again, this bag only includes two of them and I thought that was a little bit disappointing. Again, this may work perfectly for you or your particular camera setup, but in my opinion, I thought just why not in typical Think Tank fashion, include a little bit more just to help with the versatility for a range of users. Finally, one more little detail, if you look into the bottom of this bag, there is a strap here that you can use to really hold down your camera rig and stop it from bouncing around if you need it to. You can remove this strap if you don't need it, but it is there. I do think it would be cool if they put a couple more loops on either side here, so that way if your particular setup does not put your camera right in the middle, you could have a perfect location for that strap no matter where your camera is in the bag. So again, this is a solid, very, very rugged bag, but I was a little bit disappointed in terms of the organization and just what's offered inside the bag. That doesn't mean it's a low quality bag. If this fits what you need, then I would absolutely recommend it. But keep in mind that Think Tank does have a bunch more options designed for video, including rolling bags and hard cases, which I will be reviewing soon. So if you want something that's a little bit different from this, especially in terms of organization, then be sure to check those out. If you have any more questions about this bag or any other Think Tank bags, leave them down below and I will get back to you. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to see more in the future, and as always, thank you for watching.